Hey everyone, Cody here with Let's Talk About Scents. Got something special for you from a little island we like to call Hawaii. Right here has been sent over from Miss Bamini Ketchum. This is the Craft of Wondering Ritual. She sent me over this fragrance. I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, she is the creator as well of this scent. This is fantastic. This is the best-selling unisex fragrance that they offer at the Craft of Wondering. It is inspired by their trips to Egypt and Morocco and now as having fragrances from Nilofar Dunil, which is out of Cairo, Egypt, I can most definitely pick up some of the same qualities as opposed to the sweetness that is in this. It's fantastic. This is a soft, ambery, smoky, um, just very sweet, cozy fragrance. And when I say cozy, I'm talking nighttime sets in. You've had a long, hot day during the summer right here that we're experiencing, which in Hawaii, it seems like it would be summer all the time. So, but when the nighttime sets in, you have this very sweet, aromatic, uh, very sugary, sexy, unisex fragrance. I've sprayed this on my wife and I absolutely love it on her skin. The quality, the body chemistry, everything, like it is gorgeous on her. She loves it on me. So right there is your divided line for your perfect unisex fragrance. That is exactly what you want when you, when you say unisex. I enjoy it on her. She enjoys it more on me. Therefore, unisex. The notes in this fragrance are going to be vanilla, and they're like all middle notes, and then a base. So very unique. Um, there are no top notes in this, so really nothing to fade away. So when you spray this, you are given what you get. And it is a absolute sillage and longevity monster. This stuff lasts forever. I sprayed it on my skin, probably got about six to eight hours on skin. Projection, we're talking the eight to ten feet range. I was leaving scent trails in the room, um, everyone that could smell it or what they knew that I'd been there or knew that I was coming. So huge on that. I'll just go ahead and say that atomizer we're talking. I mean, we're talking body mist projection on an atomizer. So crazy, crazy, um, spritz on that. Absolutely coats everything you're wearing thing that smells so good. All right. So sorry, back, back to notes. Notes are vanilla, labdanum, um, Styrax, Benzoin, and then you're hit with a rose-tinted Blue Nile Lotus. Now, I have not had anything other than this fragrance right here that has Blue Nile Lotus in it. So, I did a slight bit of research because this fragrance right here being as cozy and smooth and sexual, I mean, just sensual, just absolutely sweet just sugar bomb there is a very very strong fruitiness to it as well so my my research on the lotus flower said that there um, there is a soft sweet fruitiness from the flower so a lot of that huge soft sweet fruity projection coming from that also you have that amber in it, so you have a ton of that sweet, smooth, sugariness in that amber, almost that uh, caramelization of sugar in it, and then benzoin. We all know benzoin, we have smooth, sweet, vanilla-like quality to that. So this is an absolute sweet sugar bomb, and I think that's why I enjoy it so much on my wife. I am a very confident man whenever it comes to wearing fragrances I would say and that's the reason that I like it so much on her I would say that it leans more more feminine than it does masculine but see when she smells it on me she swears up and down that it is a very masculine scent so total mind scramble on that one not really sure it could be the labdanum labdanum in that I'm getting the um, a slight musk to that so 
could be could be that that she's picking up on. So there's a musk to that. And then the Styrax, of course, is going to offer that spice. So there's some of that spice and that muskiness all kind of layered in the background. But every bit of this fragrance leans straight to that sweet, sugary, burnt, almost cotton candy-ish, like burnt sugar, caramelization. Super, super nice. Very, very enjoyable fragrance. I am so thankful and so happy that that Miss Bimini Ketchum has sent this over to me because I absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to rock this fragrance plenty of times and hopefully I have a collection of enough scents that I can sneak it in on one date night and my wife be all over me because there's a reason it's called Ritual, guys, and I'm telling you, you spray this on and you're going to be part of that ritual, part of that, um, it's going to become your daily ritual. You're going to drink the Kool-Aid, so to speak. This is this is joining that cult ritual level. So, excellent fragrance. Um, do not let this one pass on you guys. Everybody that watches my videos, you need to go and check this out. If you like sweet, sugary, um, small spice, you know, musk, and then fruitiness in your fragrance, this right here is the fragrance for you, and I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe on the Craft of Wondering, this runs about $42 for this bottle. So, and it's a big bottle. I'm pretty sure this is 30 milliliter. I mean, it's excellent. Thank you so much again for sending it over to me. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this. Um, I cannot wait to try what else they have. There is a um, another fragrance that they have full bottle on their website. Um, the name's slipping my mind right now. I know it's named after, I believe, a, a constellation of stars. So that's that's as much as I've got. I did all of my, you know, all of my research on this one. So, and then there's um, there's some different samples and, and things that they have. And I know that um, in my emails talking with uh, with Miss Bimini, the, um, the company Craft of Wondering I believe they release um, promo fragrances two times a year. So you all look for that to come out. I'm going to leave all of the information in the description. So I'll have the website linked. We're going to have um, the ritual linked down there, have the, the size and the price to remind you all. And then um, the Instagram, my Instagram, TikTok, be sure to go and check all that stuff out. Go and show some love. Um, if you go and say anything on Instagram to her, be sure to say that I sent you. And we just, you know, we'll see you guys next time. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, turn that bell notification on, and leave a comment. I love communicating with you guys in the comments. I love all the constructive criticism. If there's something that you'd like to see, you have any fragrance recommendations that you would like for me to do reviews on and I can get my hands on them, please leave them in the comments. I would more than gladly uh, try and do that and put a review out for you guys. Stay tuned up, uh, up next here in the next day or so. I'm going to have my full review on Amore Parfums. I have Mega Pint, Damascus, and Cocktail from them. So clone company. So be sure to tune in. You're not going to want to miss that one. Some excellent stuff coming from there. So thank you guys so much. You all have an awesome day. We'll see you next time.